So today we're talking about the basics of how we diagnose in Chinese medicine. Um, we're going to talk a lot about what are called the four questions, which we'll go into, which cover the general categories. And then we'll talk a lot about tongue and pulse diagnosis. So here are the four main categories of what we look at when we're diagnosing in Chinese medicine. The first category is diagnosis by asking. We're looking really at what we call the 10 questions. These are questions that cover the wide range of all the possibilities of the different organ systems and possible symptoms that could be going on in the human body. The beauty of this is that everything's really interconnected. Right? Just because you have a pain somewhere doesn't mean there isn't something else going on. So when we do this, we tend to surprise patients. So like, hey, I just came in for a question. Why are you asking me about my digestion? What does that have to do with it? So it's always good to keep in mind that everything is interconnected. And that's how we look at it in Chinese medicine. The other thing that an acupuncturist will do is they'll observe. We'll be looking at, for instance, skin color. Is the patient's face completely red or is it pale? Whatever it is. And we'll look at that. Different colors can relate to different organs. And for instance, each of the five elements can be seen in different colors. Mostly when we're looking at color, we're looking at the face. But we can look at skin in general in different places. We can look at the color of different discharges that come out of the body. All of those are possible. The other thing that we're observing, that we're looking at with our eyes, is the tongue. We're looking at the shape, we're looking at the color of the tongue, and we're looking at the coating, or what we call the tongue fur. This is why a lot of acupuncturists will ask you not to brush your tongue in between sessions. What I tell my patients is, after you're done and you see me, go ahead, brush, and then don't brush for a week. I want to see that grow back because it's diagnostic. <laughs> I got a look. I saw that look. <laughs> I love brushing my tongue. I think it's an important part of oral hygiene. Number one cause of bad breath, poor oral hygiene. Right? But the tongue fur tells us so much in Chinese medicine. The other thing we're doing is we're listening and we're smelling. The listening is usually a lot of times correlated to the voice. Is the voice really strong or is it kind of weak? <clears throat> so we look at the quality of the voice. We will smell, for instance, gas, or we'll ask the patient, what does gas smell like or bowel movement smell like? Because depending on that smell, it'll tell us different things. And we'll go into more specifics in a little bit. There's also a whole other part of diagnosis by smelling related to five elements, which we're not going to go into. It's um, very particular to their style. Like, does it smell burnt? Do they have a burnt smell? Every once in a while, I'll, that's the one I tend to notice the most. I'm not as versed in five element theory in terms of the full five element practitioners where that's really what they practice, what they've been trained in. But they'll smell and notice five different types of smells predominantly. The one that I notice the most is the um, burnt smell for some reason. The last thing we're going to talk about, or the last category, is diagnosis by palpation. This is by touching and feel. Palpate different parts of the body, but more commonly what we talk about is palpating the pulse. Feeling the pulse with our hands. 